Hello there you lovely people and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today I want to show you one of the best loadouts for Iron Banner that is guaranteed to annoy everyone you go up against, but not for the wrong reasons, this ain't a mountaintop loadout or anything of the sort. The sheer power of this loadout, the potential, it is the forward path auto rifle paired with the Actium War Rig and the Wiseman Rebuke as your energy weapon. Now I promise you this will help you tremendously in those hopeless Iron Banner lobbies you get. Oh and also we're using the Black Talon, the sword that throws Wi-Fi at people's faces. This this is a serious loadout to consider. Firstly, the forward path roll I have here, steady rounds, dynamic sway, and iron grip, along with a ranged masterwork. Now, I'll be the first to say it, this is the best kinetic auto that I've used for Crucible. The stability holds so well paired with the scope, that it manages to outrange people from a very generous distance. While still being a shredder by itself, you know, 600 RPM auto rifles, you know the deal with those already nowadays. So pair that with the Actium War Rig, you can forget about reloading even though sometimes I still forget, but I'm working on it. The Wiseman Rebuke. Now, I have 2,000 kills of it for good reason. It is literally unfair what sort of kills this fusion rifle gets me at times. Accelerated coils, under pressure, tap the trigger with a ranged masterwork also. Smooth as you like, clears people up like they're ads in the menagerie or something. It shoot good, basically. Yeah, this thing is outrageous. Also, it beats out every Erentil I've been against, so... Make of that what you will. Anyway, enough babbling. I want to show you guys this loadout doing work in Iron Banner. So many people are put off by this chunky scope. It's it's honestly not that bad. I'm kind of preferring it now. Oh, let's see, two bullets a kill. I told you, this auto rifle is a... Hello. Double scavenger. <laughs> Do you see that plus three? Yeah, I'm disgusting. I'm going for it. It was worth it. This one up behind me now? Can I range him? Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's just outrageous, isn't it? Honestly. I'm hardly keeping up with the spawns at the moment, but it's it, it's working. Spawns flipped again? Are we? I've hardly got away from C yet. I've just been sitting here. That's the ultimate gesture for your team is to cap B. I think that's the ultimate respect. I'm going to get shoulder charge, please. Thank you very much. Oh, this... <laughs> Fusion is outrageous. Oh, come on, guys. Tell me this is bad, honestly. The Erentil... This is way more consistent with the Erentil. I like how I said that, and I just didn't get a one burst. I'm going to lose that encounter. I'm going to do the correct move and flee. That was an awful super. I tried to be way more courageous than I needed to be. Victory is yours. Oh! <laughs> what an ending. Mercy rule. I, I, I kind of wanted that again to go on longer, but yeah, mercy rule. I mean, we didn't die. We got 18 and 0. <laughs> Should have got more auto rifle footage, admittedly. This is an Iron Banner loadout anyway. So to simply try and get a decent Wise and Rebuke. It's so good, it will map people. I much prefer this one to the Erentil any day. Speaking of Erentils though, like, hear me out on this. People are always complaining about the Erentil, even to this day. And for me personally, I go up against it maybe once every 20 or 25 lobbies. Nowadays it's Revoker and Summoner or Gnawing Hunger, Revoker. Plenty of Mountain Top, plenty of the blammy... Stupid blight grenade launcher. You know what I'm talking about. Blight maker? Blind? But what? Oh, wither horde. Of course. My goodness, this auto rifle. I hear a Jotun in the midst. I'm not too happy about it because that means I'm definitely going to die to it. Come you go, you come to me. Thank you. That was a Yoden. I, I still die. Now don't get me wrong, you know, the Gnawing Hunger is out there and it's always going to be an option because of the pure ease of use, but I'm saying this auto rifle, obviously first of all it being kinetic, but it just feels so much more smooth. I, honestly I have a difficult time with the Gnawing Hunger. I, I know it sounds really weird, but I have an easier time with this thing. I don't know why I, re I keep reloading, even though I've got the chest. I'm trying to get rid of that habit. I see you there. We have access to the sword. That means we can throw Wi-Fi at our enemies. Have Wi-Fi. There you go. Behind us. Have some Wi-Fi. There you go, just for you. Oh, 
the Wimmer Horn, man. Oh, this auto rifle is delicious! Delicious? I mean, it's not delicious. That's a bit weird. I'm going to use this to travel a little bit. Can we just go right around? Here we go. Okay, we're fine. Nine bullets with my fusion rifle. I kind of don't want to die here. That's a golden gun. I'm sad. Why is the whole team there? Hello, my... Nope. Oh, is it Mercy Roll? Oh. Back to back Mercy Roll. What is this spawn? I am mana. Explain yourself. 23 kills over three. I mean, it's unbelievable. If you have this weapon loadout, all lobbies, or most lobbies at least, even if you're struggling and against sweaty people, this is going to do well. Practice your timing with fusion rifles. Use that bulky, kind of ugly scope. Get used to it, honestly. Get used to it. It's so worth it. Mid game. Okay, this is probably not going to be a Mercy. I'll be perfectly honest. Oh, immediate kill as well. Okay, survive the hunt. We can survive the hunt. We've got the best loadout possible. I'm getting way ahead of myself here, but you know what I mean. So let's kill a bumblebee. What was that? A shader. I'm just going to push one lone person here. A lone soldier. Hello, sir. Let's go and try and get A. Oh, I'm going to get super, aren't I? Nope. Oh, never mind. Yes, I am. Oh, hello, Benny. Can I cap this flag with you? I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Put this ultra rifle to the test. There's too many people there. Goodbye. That was cool. Little 180 fusion rifle sort of thing. It doesn't matter how high you are. This range, this auto rifle will get you. And look, we got the chest that reloads it for me. It doesn't matter. Not a problem. My main problem trying to be a good player is I have too much tunnel vision. I'll just like look at this lane. If I get two or three kills, I'll just stay looking at here. I'll be like, oh, I got success there once. I might as well stay. Hi. I mean, half the time I just spend my time capping flags. We can make the comeback. I don't care about your super. Get out of my face. You're not going to get B either. None of you guys are going to get B. Yeah, you better stay away. That's a bastion. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, I'm not scared anymore. I killed it. I killed my biggest fear. Okay, I'm going to run away now. Goodbye. Oi! Uh, two supers. Never mind. Not, not just one. Two. And they're about to get B as well. Oh, boy. Poor choice. Oh, we lost anyway. It's alright. But even through this stupid defeat screen, we got a kill with the auto rifle. And I died his grenade. I mean, we joined late, but we still got on top of the leaderboard. You see what I mean? This auto rifle and fusion rifle and the exotic chest on your Titan, it'll change games for you. And yes, I am Max Valor. Uh, no, I don't care. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. It helps me out tremendously, and it means a lot. Let me know if you've had any experience using this loadout, and tell me how you're finding Iron Banner this week also. I'm curious to see what loadouts have been working best for you guys. Give this one a try. You'll be surprised. Subscribe if you are new around here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.